Hi there, I want to show you how to make your brain dumps more effective, how to make sure that you're following all of the directions uh, as you'll be doing this frequently this year. So please uh, feel free to return to this video again and sometime in the future if you discover that you've kind of forgot what you need to do. So I have a pretend brain dump right here that I'm going to uh, show you how I would do it and what I'm expecting for you to do when you do a brain dump. So I want to notice, first of all, that there's a title here. What do you do to calm yourself? So, okay, I'm going to be answering that question or something like that. Here are the instructions. I should always read the instructions, so I'm going to read them out loud. First, please respond to the brain dump prompt questions below. Okay, and there it is down there. I'll get to that in a minute. Second, read over your work and proofread it. Always a good idea before you turn something in to reread it and make sure it's okay. Double check it for mistakes. Third, make sure to break up and number your sentences. What? Okay, so I'll show you that too. It says, use the talk and type feature and read and write, that's the purple puzzle piece, so you can tell me everything you can. So before I go further than that, I'm going to now look up here and I'm going to notice that next to the URL, URL bar, here are the uh, Google Chrome extensions that I have installed. And the purple one is the read and write software. So I'm going to now click on that. And that caused that toolbar to open up. And so in a moment when I start the when I'm ready to talk, I'm going to click on talk and type because I can talk much faster than I can type. And that'll help me get as much down onto the Google Doc as possible. OK, so here's the prompt, brain dump prompt. Tell me as much as you can about what you do to calm yourself. OK, so I want to think a second before I actually start. So I kind of organize my thoughts. And so I'm going to talk about how I like to walk my dog when I'm feeling a little bit of stress and I feel like I need to calm myself. OK, I think I'm ready. So here we go. I like to go for a walk with my dog when I am feeling stressed and I need to calm myself because it feels so nice to go outside and breathe the fresh air and it makes my dog so happy and she smiles at me in the way that she smiles at me with her whole body. And so it's so nice to go uphill and walk through the park and walk through the trees and smell the smell nature and all of the wonderful things that are in the park, period. Yeah, I'm going to stop there. So I'm clicked on that. So there you go. So that took me only a few seconds to say all that. It would have taken quite a bit longer to type. Now here's what I need to recognize is that this starts here with a capital letter, ends here with a period, and that looks like a super, super, super long sentence. In fact, it's not really one sentence. It is a bunch of sentences that I connected by going and, and, um, and. So I need to break this up into smaller chunks so it's easier to read. So that means I've got to reread this and figure out how can I break this into sentences? And then did I do anything that needs to be fixed? So first of all, I'll start here. I like to go for a walk with my dog. Oh, one other thing is that when you are uh, rereading it to yourself, you can also, if you choose, you can use the, uh, the play, uh, you know, have it read to you. And so what I could do is I could put the cursor there and I could hit play and it would read it out loud to me. Uh, the problem that I find though, is that it might, it, it sometimes gets hard to stop in just the right place. You can fix your mistakes. So personally, I prefer to read it out loud to myself, but choose whichever works for you. So here we go. I like to go for a walk with my dog when I am feeling stressed and I need to call myself. I, I don't think I meant call myself. That doesn't make any sense. In fact, if you notice there how there's the dotted lines under there, that's Google Docs is asking me, are you sure about that? So by Google Docs kind of pointing that out, that's something that I should be paying attention to anyway. And so I need to call myself. That's not right. It's I need to calm myself. So I fix that and I need to calm myself. So I'm going to put a period there because that felt like a complete sentence. I like to go for a walk with my dog when I'm feeling stressed and I need to calm myself, period. So I want to start the next line, uh, the next sentence on the next line. So I'm going to start here. So it's because it feels so nice to go outside and breathe the fresh air. That's not really a sentence. I'm going to get rid of because. 
and I'm going to make that start. So I'm going to make it start with it. It feels so nice to go outside and breathe the fresh air. Period. And it makes my dog so happy and she smiles at me and the way. Okay, wait. So here, let's let's get rid of that and first of all. It makes my dog so happy. Comma. And she smiles at me. Period. So I'm going to get rid of this. And the way that and the way that she smiles at me with her whole body. So I'm going to get rid of some of those other words or kind of filler words that we use when we're talking, but not when we're writing. She smiles at me with her whole body and okay, period. And it's so nice to go uphill and walk through the park. So here, let's start. It's so nice to go uphill and walk through the park. All right, and so now, and walk through the trees and smell the smell nature. Boy, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense either. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna back that up. I really like to walk through the trees and smell the smell nature. So notice the wavy blue line under here is where Google is telling me, you know, this doesn't look right to the computer. And in fact, I'm going to change it to that. I really like to walk through the trees and smell nature and all of the wonderful things that are in the park. All right, so I've done that. So now you'll notice that each sentence starts a new line. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to number these. So the way that I'm gonna number these is I'm going to select all of the things that I wanna number. And then I'm gonna come up to this right up here where it's got the little numbered says numbered list it's going to help me make a numbered list and now if i click on that you can see what's happened is now i have i can see oh i have six separate sentences and now if somebody else comes along and they want to read this or if the teacher wants to read this this is going to make a lot more sense and be a lot easier to follow so this is what you ought to be doing as you're doing your brain dump again you want to respond to the brain dump prompt questions that are there you want to read over your work and proofread it Get rid of things that are confusing and any mistakes in language that the computer got wrong, et cetera, et cetera. And then make sure to break up and number your sentences. So now instead of one messy long sentence, I have six short, easy to read sentences.